Every student and every teacher in the City of Providence should be in a building like this. Every student should have the right to come to school where they have a desk and a chair and a book or a computer or both and not have to worry about what's around them as far as facilities. I know comparatively in other buildings some of the students are worried about, you know, the roof literally caving in on their head. We're asking our teachers and our students to learn 21st century skills, but they're in buildings that were built 100 years ago. The new spaces nowadays are being designed to be utilized. It is centered around technology. It's a whole different world. And it's going to really uh, put us in a spot where Providence schools will be um, achieving higher academic outcomes because that's the overall objective here is to, is to educate our young people in the state so that they can transition into good paying jobs when it's that time to get to enter into the workforce. So the facility upgrades as much as anything send a message to our students we care, we know, we believe in you and we're going to be investing millions in you. So it's a huge message not just to our students but to our families. $500 million is a lot of money, so being able to understand why it's there and how could it benefit you as a student and probably your peers, or if you have siblings, what could that do for them in their future? When I think about my little cousins who are in PBSD, like what do I want their future to be after I leave high school? The money's going to help us create the environment that our students and our teachers need in order to be successful. We want to make sure our students are trained and ready and have all the resources that they need in order to go out to society and be productive members. For too long, our, our teachers have had to go to work in a place that's really uh, not what they deserve. And our families should have the confidence that when they send their child to a Providence public school, they know that their kid is getting a world-class education. They spend a lot of time here. And as a parent, I want to make sure that they're comfortable. But as a parent, I want to feel comfortable myself when I'm at work, when I'm at home, knowing that my children are in a safe place, are with the tools that they need. They're not falling behind because they don't have a Chromebook, they don't have a computer. It's kind of like an emotional um, support, basically, to have all the tools that you need to see all the changes. The vast majority of our families are first and second generation immigrants who work very hard, who believe in us, who believe in education. And when we can back that up with a brand new facility, their faith and belief in us just goes up that much higher. One thing that really stood out to me is like every day when I would walk in, it would just like just be so like nice and beautiful. And I would just like, okay, like, hmm, that's like a good way to start my day. Now when we receive updates and renovations, it's like, they're like, okay, like I'm coming to an environment that I believe I can learn the way I want to learn. I can just feel the students feeling the same way when they first walked in. It's a positive morale booster for the student. It's a booster in the sense that it makes them understand that they are value. We have community input to make sure that we're, we're looking at it from every angle, not only from administrators' angle or, or, or PPSD, but also from the community itself because their voice is valued, parents' voice is value, and it helps us make sure that we're making the right decisions to build the, the buildings to meet the needs of all our students. This brick is a symbol of how we're changing what's happening in Providence. We're tearing down low expectations and building a system that really respects educators, students' knowledge, and we're building a stronger system academically, emotionally, and physically. This is a new, better, and improved system that will launch our kids forward.